Welcome back to my channel. Greetings everyone. This is Q and I hope you guys are doing well guys. Today, I'm going to welcome you to my kitchen again. Welcome to my kitchen vlog too guys. And today, we're going to make salmon croquettes guys, okay? Now guys, when someone corrected me on how to pronounce this word, they wasn't as nice as I'm going to be to you. So I'm going to tell you, many of you say salmon. Guys, it's not salmon. It's not an English word, it's salmon, okay? So today, we're gonna make salmon croquettes, and I think in Spanish that would be something like croquette de salmon, I don't know. So guys, um, it sounded good to me. So listen guys, here are the ingredients, okay? You're gonna, now guys, if you don't have everything I have, and you got time to go get it, that's fine, but, but guys, you can put as much in there as you want, or you can not put something in there. But I have onion, I have green, red, and orange bell pepper, and I have um, celery. So since these are small, I may use the whole peppers, but I'm only gonna use a piece of this green one because it's really big. I have onion. I have a piece of celery here, guys. Guys, um, to thicken it up, and make your salmon hold together. You can either use um, breadcrumbs or like crackers. I prefer crackers, but keep in mind, um, don't get the saltines ones with salt. Get the ones that don't have salt on them because remember, all your seasoning has salt and you don't want your food to be too salty. So guys, um, I use a variety of seasonings. All, all you really need is salt and pepper. But I'm not going to use any salt. I'm going to use black pepper, parsley, paprika, maybe some um, either lorries or some Cajun seasoning, guys. I'm going to use all those, all right? And also, for your salmon, okay, you can either use um, canned pink salmon, but keep in mind, when you open that can up, you want to drain all the juice off of it. Then you have to clean it because it has little bones in there. So you got to actually touch each piece, pull all the bones out of there, all the skin. But guys, I have some fresh tuna that I'm just going to peel off that skin and chop it up real fine. And we'll get to that next, okay? Also, a couple of eggs. You're gonna need a couple of eggs, okay? So I think I've given you all the ingredients. Okay, guys, let's go. We're gonna start cutting these vegetables. I already washed them and everything. So let's go. So guys, what I like to do is I like to get a little trash bag going. And I really, really want my glasses. So guys, if many of you who follow my channel you know I had a problem with my sight the other day, so I don't really have any glasses here. I can't wear my contacts yet, so I, I have on reading glasses to help me see, guys. I really can't see that well, but I can see good enough to do this, okay? So guys, um, with your vegetables, okay? I like to chop my vegetables up real small because I think that when they're small it helps your salmon croquette patties hold together if you got big chunks of vegetables in your food guys I, I think they stop it from um, really um, holding together well so I cut one half of this pepper up let's see if that's going to be enough and I can save that for another dish tomorrow okay guys so let's go and get this done so guys um i'm sure everyone understand why i'm not looking at the camera when i'm dealing with this knife <laughs> okay i don't have to explain that door i do not have to explain that right i'm not chopping off my fingers now guys when i was in culinary school I had to pay for this really nice set of knives that came with the tuition, right? Really nice knives, and they were all sharp, guys. And I was scared of those knives, 
And when you're scared of knives, you cut yourself. So I cut myself quite a few times in culinary school until I was no longer afraid of those lines, those knives. So guys, um, there are several ways to cut and clean a pepper, but as you see, the first time I did it one way, the next time I did another way. So guys, of the orange, I decided to only use um, one half, and, and I'm gonna set the other one aside and use that for a different dish on a different day. So guys, I'm not gonna bug you with cutting up all these vegetables. I'll be back. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as I indicated earlier, since this green pepper is so big, I'm only gonna use a smaller portion of it, guys. I'm not gonna use the whole half, okay? Guys, I know some of you guys are noticing that, hey, I need to sharpen my knife. I do. I didn't bring a knife sharpener, but I'm going to order one, and it'll make everything a lot easier soon. But, guys, in the meantime, please, it's not necessary to criticize my knife and my knife skills. It's okay, guys. I know that my knife is not sharp. I know. I'm aware. And I thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your feedback, ladies and gentlemen. So guys, when you make your salmon croquettes, what ingredients do you like to use? Tell me, guys. There's more, there's more than one way to skin a cat, guys. Um, I think you would do fine if you only put onion and celery in there. I think if you only had some onion, I think you would do fine. But guys, all these colors make your food so beautiful. And of course, it adds flavor, guys. It adds flavor. And at the end, I'm gonna finish it off, guys, um, with some parsley. And guys, it's always best to use fresh anything. But if you can't get your hands on any fresh parsley, guys, that's okay. Use what you can get your hands on, okay? So I'm gonna chop a little piece of onion, guys, and we'll be back. Okay, here we go with a little onion. Yeah, I really need to sharpen this knife, guys. A unsharpened knife, guys, is dangerous. So, guys, that's all I need. That's all I need. I'm gonna have to have all that. That's all I need. And, um, guys, um, one thing I don't have, I hadn't had an opportunity to get yet, guys, is I don't have a potato peel. And generally, I would shave my celery. So, I don't have a pill. I'm just gonna hit it like that, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna put that on my list of things to get. If I don't see one soon around here, of course, I'm just gonna order from Amazon, guys. I'm the Amazon king. Um, I slowed down a bit, but when I first got here, guys, everything I needed, bro, I went straight to Amazon and got it. I sure did. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Yeah, so guys, you really don't want big humps of anything in your food, okay? And then, guys, um, after you chop up all your vegetables, if you look at it, once you have your salmon out and prepared, guys, if you think you have too much, you don't have to use them all. You can put some in a Ziploc bag, and tomorrow, you can make yourself an omelet. And you put some vegetables in there with some cheese, okay? So, it's not a big deal, guys, if you, um, if you, um, have too much vegetables and stuff, okay? So, guys, um, like I said, um, when I moved here, I left thousands of dollars in cooking utensils, so I don't have a lot of things to mix and cook with so guys i'm just going to use a bowl i eat out of 
for how it is. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, next ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna move this out the way, clean up my work area, I'm gonna come back and prepare the salmon, okay? Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. So guys, as I spoke to you earlier, guys, I'm gonna um, beat up two eggs, guys, and if you don't have everything I have, guys, don't worry about it. All you really need is salt and pepper. Anything else is just extra flavor, guys. I've got some parsley here. Uh, this is paprika. I've got onion. I've got some Creole seasoning here. And guys, I also have black pepper. And I couldn't find a big garlic. I got some garlic here. Guys, I have a, all type of seasoning up there. And down here, guys, I also got, I've got Cajun. I've got Laurie's. Guys, I've got a lot of seasoning, man. I got a lot of seasoning. I have this one. I find it works really well with vegetables, okay? I love that as well. Who knows what that is? Who knows? Okay, so guys, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the salmon. As I told you before, you can use crackers or you can use breadcrumbs. I prefer crackers, guys, and these are salted. These have salt on them, guys, so if you can, notice I didn't use any salt. Because, guys, all of these have sodium in it. Everything except pepper, guys, has sodium. So, guys, all of these ingredients have some, some amount of sodium in them. So, I didn't put any salt. One thing that's good to do sometimes, guys, when your food, fried food, first comes out the grease, hit it with a, hit it with a shot of um, salt. That's what McDonald's does with their fries, even though I don't eat that. I ate that for years, and that's what makes those fries taste so good. When they hot out the grease, you put that salt on them, mmm, yummy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do here is we're going to remove the skin, okay? And guys, lots of times, you don't even have to cut it or use a knife, but once you get it started, once you get it started, guys, it'll almost peel right off. You just pull it. That's all you gotta do, guys. You can pretty much just pull it off. Just like that. And sometimes on the thinner part, guys, where it thins out, you're gonna have some meat left, so that you may have to work with a little bit, okay? Don't throw your meat away, okay? Get that salmon off of that, guys. By all means, get all of it. Get all of it, okay? Get all of it. So guys, um, this is a safety tip I wanna to talk to you about, okay? Notice that I'm doing my protein last, or if you do it first, do it on another surface. Okay. Okay. You want to do it on another surface because the bacteria and pathogens on meat, chicken, fish, poultry, pork, whatever, guys, is harmful. It's harmful. And what's going to happen is you get something called cross contamination. When you transfer the blood and the pathogens from meat to something else, vegetables or beef to chicken, chicken to beef, chicken to vet guys, that can that can not only make people sick, but it can really kill people. Okay, so that's called cross contamination. You don't want that. So you either have to use a different cutting board or clean your cutting board, clean your cooking service, surface, and then start preparing that different type of food. So guys, all we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna chop this salmon up as small as I can, guys. 
I'ma chop it up as small as I can. First, I'ma make these big pieces, and then I'ma cut into smaller pieces. Then I'm cutting the small pieces. Then I'm cutting the small pieces so that it can all bind together, guys, and so that your patties can stick together. Okay? That's all we're gonna do here, guys. We're gonna keep cutting them into smaller and smaller pieces. That's all we're gonna do. That's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to do. So guys, um, even if you use canned tuna, once you clean it, um, open the can up, Drain all the fluid off of it. Remove the skin and the bones, guys. Um, you still have to chop that up. Break it up real small, guys. Break it up real small. Um, imagine making a hamburger. It has to be able to bind together as ground beef would um, when you make a hamburger. So those chunks I'm making right there they're gonna have to be even smaller than that because they're not going to hold together that big okay after you chop it so small it almost looks like it's smashed mashed okay so after I get this batch right here to this size then I'm gonna keep going over it again and again and again so everything is real small. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in a second, okay? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in a second. Give me one second here. And guys, um, I just noticed that the microphone is sitting up against the cutting board right in front of me here. So I Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be my last run. I think I got it chopped up pretty good. I think I got it chopped up pretty good here, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Yeah, pretty good. So I'm going to rinse my hands off. One thing I always do, ladies and gentlemen, while I'm cooking, I always have a sink of hot water so I can immediately clean it. So that I can immediately clean my hands when I have to. So guys, we're gonna just um, move the salmon into a mixing bowl, guys. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna move the salmon into a mixing bowl. And that's that skin. We're gonna go ahead and put the cutting board right there. Move it on out the way. So now, ladies and gentlemen, here we have that salmon, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and these eggs. Yeah. You know, guys, someone told me something that's really good. I have not tried it, but I think I'm going to try it today, guys. Someone told me to put a little honey in your um, salmon when you're making croquettes. So I'm going to give it a try, guys. This is my first time ever doing this, guys. I put just a little honey in there. 
And I imagine that may also help it bind together. But it's going to give it a little sweetness, guys. So a couple of years ago, guys, I stopped eating white sugar, table sugar, any sh sugar of any kind, brown, white. And guys, I drink a pot of coffee a day. And what I used to do, man, was I would put two heaping tablespoons of sugar in my coffee every day. So I ate a lot of sugar. And a couple of years ago, guys, I started winging myself off of sugar. How I did it, I went from two tablespoons to one tablespoon to a half a tablespoon, teaspoon, and then finally I just stopped. So guys, I drink black coffee. I like my coffee like I like my women. Black, strong, dark. Don't need no makeup. Don't need no sugar, cream, lipstick, eyelashes. Don't need none of that. Just wake up and wash your face. That's what a dark woman does for you. Just beautiful. So guys, let's go. We got the eggs in there, guys. Okay. Um, crackers. I imagine this is one. I guess it's, how many crackers are here? Two, four, six, eight. This is eight crackers right here. You just break them up, guys. And um, the reason why I like you using crackers over breadcrumbs are twofold. One thing, guys, is um, breadcrumbs, I think this binds it better. Almost like, you know, it just, I think it holds everything together better because it has more surface. The crumbs that come from this are, <laughs> are bigger than the crumbs that come from um, breadcrumbs, panko. The next reason is, guys, it really extends your meal. You put 10, 15 crackers in there, it really gives you more substance for more patties, okay? So guys, um, now we're gonna start with this seasonings, guys. I don't know how well if you can see this, but guys, I'm putting a nice amount of parsley in here, guys, okay? Now guys, um, if you don't know about seasonings, I'm gonna caution you, but guys, I'm just gonna show you how much I'm putting in here. Okay? Not much, guys. Okay, guys, out of sight, out of mind. I just realized I'm looking at this and I'm wondering why it isn't as beautiful as it needs to be. Okay? And what happened was, when I set the vegetables aside to do everything else, I forgot about, I forgot about them, guys. Out of sight, out of mind. My workspace isn't that big, so when I set the vegetables aside, guys, um, I forgot about them. That's why my dish isn't that colorful and beautiful. It's missing this beauty, guys. Look how pretty that is. It's missing all that color, guys. That's what's happening in here. Oh yeah, that's what's happening, guys. That's what's happening. So all we're gonna do, is we're gonna go with this again. And I should've put it in a different bowl, guys. That's okay. That's okay, guys. I should've put it in a different bowl. But please, don't criticize me. And I'm gonna try not to put too much of it on the cutting surface. The cutting surface is clean, guys. So if I need to pick something up off of there, I'm going to do it. Don't find nothing wrong with that, guys, because it's clean. Everything around here is clean, guys. I clean as I go. So, guys, um, just by adding those vegetables, it's not even as wet as it was. Because even though vegetables are like 70% water, guys, it just feels so much drier fuller but guys as i said this surface is clean and even though i didn't drop much i can pick that up 
So guys, once again, I'm gonna form this like that. I'm gonna form it. I'm gonna try to pack it in tight so that there's no, okay. We're gonna try this again, guys. So look at, look how it looks now, guys, with the vegetables in there, okay? You can, excuse me, you can see that color. And even when you fry them, guys, I like to make my patty thin. And once you fry them, you're gonna still be able to see all those beautiful colors in your vegetables, guys. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like how it looks. And guys, I hate this. This plastic wrap I buy here, guys, it doesn't have that little cut razor thing on the box. Or maybe I'm just buying the wrong one at the store, okay? Maybe that's what it is. Okay. So guys, once again, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move on to the next step, all right? So, um, I made the sauce here, guys. Not the sauce, but I made the mixture for my salmon croquettes a couple days ago. Um, I meant to cook them yesterday, but a friend of mine is in town. He had me in these streets, y'all. So, um, this has been marinating for two days. So guys, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand in here and just mix it up one more time. Okay. Just gonna mix it up one more time. One more time, guys. One more time. And all I did was I got some wax paper here and I put it on my cutting service there. So now I'm gonna start forming my patties, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna take a little bit, roll it in the ball, roll it in the ball. And after I roll it in the ball, ladies and gentlemen, get a good shape on it, then I'm gonna start forming my patties, guys. I'm gonna start forming them. Guys, I like to make my patties kind of thin. Okay? I like to make my patties kind of thin. So, that's size. I like to make it the size of a nice little hamburger patty. Just like if I was making hamburger, ladies and gentlemen. This would be about the size I would make it, okay? So right there, we got two. I, I could probably get about four or five out of here. Let's see how many we get. So guys, remember that even though I um, had a small piece of salmon that you saw there, right? Once I added the um, other ingredients and the crackers, see it increased it a little bit, huh? Yeah, it did. So right here, guys, look how many patties we got. This one's gonna be, these last two are gonna be a bit smaller, but that's okay. Guys, these have been, like I said, these have been sitting in there for two days. Marinate, man, they're gonna be so good. They're gonna be so good. So guys, I'm gonna heat up that frying pan. I'm gonna put a little oil in there and I'll show you that step as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And guys, I only cook with fresh oils like um, natural oils. I'll use peanut oil is what I'm using here. I'm using peanut oil. And also I'll use like olive oil. Other than that guys, I don't use vegetable oil. I don't use anything like that guys. Because it's not real, it's not natural. And who can tell me what happens when you give your body something 
that isn't natural. Okay? It's foreign to your body. Your body don't know how to process it, okay? So, what it's going to do is it's going to store most of it as fat. And the rest of it is going to eliminate it through waste, okay? That's what's going to happen when you eat foreign substances, okay? So guys, I can hear that my oil is hot. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in there. I'm going to put these in there. And just like frying anything else, guys, you really don't want to overload your pan, guys, but I've done it. I'm putting too much stuff in this one pan because I'm lazy and I don't want to cook another batch. Okay. And we're just gonna let those go, ladies and gentlemen. And don't be messing with them, picking at them, and bothering them. How you know they're ready to turn over and stuff. Because what'll happen, it'll get dark around the edges, all right? So right now, don't bother, just let it cook. Okay, everyone. These have been, um, I don't know if you can see it around there, guys, but I can see it's getting brown. And what I like to do, guys, I get two spatulas, right? And I turn them over like that. And the reason why I use two spatulas, because they're still at a state where they can actually break up, okay? So, I do this to make sure they don't break up. Now guys, another reason why you really don't wanna overcrowd your pan is it kinda makes it hard to get in there, pick stuff up, and turn it over, okay? See, see I'm having problems, and this one looks like it wants to break up. But we're not gonna let it, okay? So now guys, I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful these are. I'm gonna try to get closer in there for you. So, I just knocked my light off my camera. But what I'm trying to show you guys is that, can you see all the colors of the bell peppers and everything in there? Absolutely gorgeous, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see where we're up. Let me see if I can put my light back on there, guys. Let's see if we can get this light back on. Ah, uh, nope. Let's see. Oops. So I'm having some technical difficulties right now, guys. I'm having some technical difficulties with my camera. Bear with me. Nope. There we go. Can we still? Nope. Okay, guys. We're going to be a bit dark right now, but that's alright. We're going to be a bit dark. Anyway. We can still see everything. So basically, guys, that's it. Look how beautiful those salmon croquettes are. And guys, that's basically it. The next time you see me, I'm gonna be taking those out the grease. Okay, everyone. These salmon croquettes are done. Tell me what you think. Can you smell them? I can smell them, y'all. They taste, they smell so good. I wish you guys could smell them, guys. They look good. Now, guys, these taste really great with um, just how they are. But man, experiment. Cut one in four sections. 
Put some barbecue sauce on one, put some hot sauce on one, put some ketchup on one, put some mustard on one, man. You're gonna be surprised what you get. Okay, so, um, I would like to thank everyone for joining me on, um, this is the Welcome to My Kitchen blog number two. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope you tried the recipe. So, um, please, it costs nothing to like the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, if I haven't earned your right to subscribe to my channel yet, please keep coming back. And I assure you, I'm going to earn your right to subscribe to my channel. If you think anyone could benefit from this video, guys, send it to them. You know, a single guy, single lady who's not big on cooking, eating out a lot, send them this video, guys. Teach them how to cook something, all right? Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. I'll talk to y'all soon.